everybody, it's Michelle, and today I've got for you a gentle morning Pilates routine. So it's the perfect way to gently wake up and get ready for your day. Uh, we're gonna start standing and kind of slowly work our way down to the floor. We'll do some nice restorative kind of mobility exercises and stretches and just get you ready to move for the day, okay? So start standing on your mat, a comfortable distance apart with your feet. We're just gonna start by getting our head and neck really gently moving, okay? So nothing too crazy. Just gonna start by gently dropping your gaze, nodding your chin in the direction of your chest, and then you're gonna look up, lengthening the back of the neck, yeah? So we're not moving so far in either of these two directions that our head or our chin is actually touching our chest or our shoulders, yeah? So think of lengthening rather than shortening. Good, a few more times. And again, just giving yourself time to work through these places, unlocking backs of the knees. Good, now bring the head up, and we're gonna nice and gently go side to side. Yeah, and we'll do these for a little while. So you can work your way into more range. Very good. And again, not pushing it, not even holding there for too long, just moving through it. Good, now drop your head to one side, keep your head on that angle, and we're just gonna rotate our head here to look towards the bottom shoulder, and then to rotate away. Yeah, do that again. So my head is staying tipped in that same direction, and then rotating. Yeah, you might feel a little stretch along these jaw muscles here that tend to get a little bit tight. Good, now look back to the front and then come up tall. And then we'll go to the other side. So ear drops to shoulder and then we rotate, almost like we're saying no with our head on this angle. Very good, notice if you're holding tension anywhere where it does not need to be, okay? Oh, very good. All right, look back to the front and come up tall. Now let's just take some gentle circles. So we'll tip the ear to one side, round forward, and then the other way. Yeah, so almost pretend like you had a little like fluffy collar on or something so that you would keep that little bit of distance between your skull and your shoulder girdle. Yeah, and then we reverse it, go the other way. And just let whatever else in your body wants to move, go ahead and move, yeah? We don't need to be too strict. We're trying to wake our body up, right? So just kind of let things happen. Very nice. All right, now come up tall, tip your head to one side, grab over top to your ear with one hand and reach the other arm out to the side. Okay, now again, not forcing this, just feel a gentle pull, more of a pull out than a pull down with this hand that's gripping over your head. Take a breath or two here, feel like you're trying to touch the opposite wall with this hand, and then go to the other side. Yeah, so I'm not trying to pull my ear to my shoulder, I'm trying to stretch my head away from the lengthened arm. So go, let's do that one more time to either side. So again, we're making space rather than crunching and shortening the neck. Good, do that one more time. Whew. Very good, you guys. All right, I'm gonna turn to the side now just so you can see me a little bit better. You're gonna hold on behind your head and we're gonna extend our spine. So starting to wake up our back, look up towards the ceiling. Now exhale, soften your knees and you're gonna round forward over the thighs. Do that again. So really pressing into the fingertips with the head, yeah, getting our neck Ooh, nice and awake. Yes, we want those muscles at the back of our neck to be active, pushing back. Whew, do that two more times. And again, you can take this a little slower if you need to. You just listen to your body. All right, now advancing this a little bit more, instead of hands to the head, you're gonna interlace your fingers, face the palms away from you, and round your spine here. So press like you're trying to touch the wall in front of you with your hands. Now stand up, let go of the hands, circle them around your back, place them on your lower back, and just lift your heart up to the ceiling. Good, do that again. Grab your hands, exhale and round. Inhale, come up through the circling arms. Gently place them on your low back and look up. Good, few more times, round. Now, we're not trying to jut our hips forward. We're trying to extend up and over the hands with the ribs. 
Good, two more times. And if you need to spend a little longer in any of these places than I am, you do that, okay? Now, stay forward with your hands interlaced. Let the tail be heavy. And now we're just gonna really gently let our hands travel from side to side here, okay? Feel free to explore around if you wanna go in more of like a figure eight pattern. Yeah, you should just get a nice stretch up along the sides of the spine. So good, you guys, do that a few more times, just kind of working through that nice back stretch. Good. All right, drop your hands and stand back up tall. Whew, good. All right, now step your feet wide, as wide as you'd like. Place one hand on your thigh, reach the other arm up and over. Take a nice side bend. Whew and then come up tall. Let's do that same side again. So putting pressure into the thigh to support this big stretched position and then come up tall. Good, two more times. Really opening up the ribs. Ah, that's a place that we tend to get a little bit stuck. So make room. Now pause over in your side bend. We're gonna rotate and flatten our back out so we're looking at the floor and then come back to the front. If that's a little uncomfortable, you can bend your knees as we twist and come back. Two more times. So I'm squaring my shoulders off to look at the floor and then I return. Good. Now rotate over to that side. Drop your hands to grab onto the foot, the ankle, or the shin of whatever leg you're stretching over. And just take a couple of deep breaths here. Every time you exhale, try to let the head pull you nearer to that leg. Yeah, now don't want to be doing some crazy stretch. Just let gravity pull you to wherever you're feeling, okay? Now maybe reach one arm a little bit further, the opposite hand, reach it beyond that foot a little bit to feel the back and the rib cage open. Good. Now just tuck your tail, use your hands to crawl your body back up to standing. Whew. And we'll do that to the other side. Feels good to get some blood to our brain. All right, so other hand on your thigh, reach the arm wide, and then we'll go side to side. Yeah, so waking up this new side, opening rib and hip away from each other. Try to get taller to tip. Very good. Now this time we'll stay on that side bend angle, rotate, you kind of stick your tailbone out and back, and then you draw it back underneath you to go to your side bend. Yes, yeah, so I'm flattening out my spine, my pelvis is moving a little bit, forward and back. Good, one more time. You soften your knees if you need to. Now look at the floor and just gently drop your torso down towards that leg. Grab with your hands wherever you'd like. Yeah, you can use your hands to avoid stretching too deeply or to help you get a little more stretch. Okay. Whew. Maybe take your opposite arm a little further across to the outer edge of that foot. Breathe into wherever it feels tight. And then use your hands to crawl your body back up to standing. Whew, amazing. All right, let's start working our way down a little more towards the floor. So come down onto your knees. If this is uncomfortable, you can pad up your knees with a towel or your rolled up mat if you need to. So knees are right underneath your hips. We're gonna open our chest wide. Now, nod your chin. Try not to sit your booty back. Keep it over your knees and go really slowly. This is harder than it looks to go in slow motion here. Now find your hands on the floor. Walk out until you're on all fours. Look up and take a nice stretch for your abdominals. Good, now you're gonna round your spine, walk your hands back towards your thighs, stack up hips over knees, you can crawl back up your legs, and then we'll do that again. Drop your chin. Now if you sit your butt back, this is really easy, but if you keep it on top of your knees, you'll feel your hamstrings have to wake up a little bit, your abs too, and then you'll walk out. Just find a gentle abdominal stretch as you look up, and then we'll round our back. Walk with the hands, crawl up your thighs. Whew, so good. All right, let's do that one more time. So keeping active on the backs of the legs as we crawl our way down. 
Now this time we're going to stay here a little longer. So put your weight into your hands and we're going to go in two directions, into a cat and into a cow stretch. Yes, so start moving yourself through those two positions. Yes, you can go faster or slower than I am. If you feel like one spot needs a little extra love this morning, you can hold and kind of work through it a little bit. Okay, now let's get to neutral. So you're looking right between your hands. All I want you to do is just tip your hips back to your heels and push yourself back. Yeah, so I'm rocking back and forward. Yes, now really spread your hands out so that you feel like if you were doing this in sand, you would make the biggest handprint you can, putting a lot of weight into the tips of your fingers. Yes, now you can either stay with this, or if you'd like, when you press yourself forward, end up all the way down on your stomach, and then you're just gonna take a gentle back stretch, lifting your chest. Good, drop back down, push off your arms, and sit back on your heels. Do that again. If you're going to modify, just come forward and do a back extension here on your knees and then sit back. Okay, do that again. If you need to adjust where your hands are placed to make this more comfortable, you absolutely can. Good. Couple more times. I sit to my heels, I press, and I, you can even like do the worm to get yourself down here. Lift your heart and then lower. Good. Two more times. Oh, it's good for the shoulders to work through these ranges of motion. Last time. Oh, very good, you guys. All right, now just stay down on your stomachs. Cross one hand and rest your head down on it. Now take your other arm. Your legs can just be a comfortable distance apart. Reach your arm forward. Now just draw some circles with this arm, almost like you're going swimming with one arm at a time, okay? Don't have to overthink it. See if you can make this circle without your arm touching the floor. So we're just getting a little shoulder mobility going, okay? Yes, try to keep your hand as far away from the ground as you can. So we reach the arm forward, circle it back, bend it to reach through. Good. Very nice. Now just set your hand down on the floor in front of you and lift it and lower it a couple of times. So this is a real test of where our shoulders are at this morning, yes? If you're feeling tight and restricted, just kind of good to note that our shoulders are feeling a little stuck, okay? See if you can reach a little bit higher each time, leaving the head on the hand. Whew, last one. Very good. All right, let's do that with the other arm. So cross that hand we just worked under your head, reach the new one out, and then we circle out and around, and then through. <sighs> circle and through. So see how big of a range you can get, keeping the hand away from the ground. <sighs> Draw the abs gently up and into the spine. <sighs> That's it, keep your shoulders squared to the floor. Last one. Now place the hand out in front of you and lift and lower the arm a couple of times. You can angle the hand wherever feels most comfortable to you. Very good. I kind of like pinky side down. That gives me a nice range of motion. Last two. Last one. Whew. Very nice, you guys. All right, one last little shoulder stretch here. You're gonna reach your arms behind you. If that's enough of a shoulder stretch, keep your hands there. If you can handle a little bit more, interlace your fingers, okay? Either way, we're just gonna do some gentle upper back lifts. So we're gonna inhale and float our sternum up. Exhale to come back down. Yes, now you're either doing this with hands separated, palms next to your hips, or with hands interlaced, Pressing them away. Yes, yeah, so we'll get a spine stretch either way. Little additional shoulder stretch, almost a little bicep stretch, feels good if the hands are interlaced. Okay, do that a few more times. Feel your collarbones widening and then release a little. Last one. Ooh, very good. All right, place your hands under your shoulders. Push yourself back to your heels and take a nice shell stretch just to get out of all that extension. 
Good. You can rock your hips gently side to side a little bit if that feels good. Okay, one last little stretch here and then we're gonna work our way onto our backs. So bring your hands underneath where your shoulders are now as you're sitting back on your heels. Now one arm at a time, you're gonna take your hand off the mat and just reach over to the opposite side. So you might even take your hand off of the mat and then come back in. Other side, reach away. Now as you're stretching, really feel between these ribs and hips opening up and then come down. And your bottom elbow might even touch the floor. Very good. Good, do that a few more times. Use your hand on the mat to push forward to help you deepen the stretch even more. Very good. Now pause with one arm reaching across. We're gonna hold here a little extra. Pick your hips up and shift them over the opposite heel. Yeah, so I'm stretching my left arm to the right of my mat and moving my hips more over my left foot. And you should feel that stretch get a little bigger. <sighs> Breathe through it. And then let's switch sides. So now we're gonna shift our hips over our other heel, reach the new hand across and feel like you're pushing the floor away from you. <sighs> Feels so good to open up the sides of the body. Whew, so good you guys. <sighs> All right, we're gonna get our hips going a little bit. So lay down onto your backs. Have your arms down by your sides. Or actually, maybe take your hands on your hips so you can feel what's going on. Let's do a few tuck and tilts of the pelvis back and forth. Yeah, nothing too crazy, just gently waking up the lumbar spine. Really feel the abdominals to pull the pelvis towards your ribs. All right, very good. Now, just rest your arms on the floor. Remain in that neutral with a little curve under your back. And you're just gonna take one knee and drop it to the floor and then bring it back. Do that same leg. So just some gentle knee drops. Yes, so we get a little opening for the inner thigh, but this is quite a bit of work for our abdominals to keep the pelvis in this neutral. Yes, you shouldn't feel your hips rolling with the drop of the knee. So isolating that, working the obliques, you're kind of rolling to the pinky edge of that foot. Yes. All right, now take that same leg and you're just gonna slide the heel away from you and then bring it back in and replace it. Do that again, slide it along the mat and then in. If your feet are sticking, kind of hover it as you reach and then come back in. So again, we're testing our pelvic stability a little bit here to see if we can maintain this control while moving the leg away from us. Okay, now we're gonna put those two movements together into a hip release, which feels so good. So start with that knee drop. Now you're gonna slide the foot away from you, end up to where we were in that leg drag. Now internally rotate the leg to pull it in. Do that again, so I'm externally rotating, and then I slide in more on the big toe side of my foot to return, yes? And once we get the pattern of this, you can just kind of flow through it. Oh, my mat came with me, <laughs> and kind of flow through it, and just get a nice movement through this hip, yeah? Try to feel like the abdominals and the back of the leg are really assisting to pull the leg in, so it's not all hip flexors. All right, now let's reverse that. You're gonna knock that same knee in towards the other to slide it away first, and then pull the knee out wide to return. Yes, so I'm getting this full range through the hip. So we go internally and then externally rotated. Yes, it's a good one to do with socks on because your foot doesn't stick quite so much. Let's do that one more time. Whew, such a good way to kind of unstick the hips and get them ready for the day. All right, let's do the opposite leg, that whole series. So now we're gonna start with the leg drops. Inhale and exhale. Yeah, you can place a hand on your opposite hip if you need that reminder to keep the pelvis still. Very good, do that two more times. And you should feel your abdominals gently active under the hand if you've placed it there. Yes, so there's lots of activity going on. Now we slide the heel forward and then back. And again, you don't have to muscle it too much. This is more for the hip joint than it is a big quad exercise. Yes, so we're trying to 
practice maintaining our alignment. Abdominals are working. Whew. All right, now put the two together into a hip release. So you're gonna drop the knee side, slide it away, internally rotate to come back. Yes, knee goes out, turn in, and then pull. Yeah, see how much external and internal rotation you can find. And if that means going slower for you, you do that. Take your time to kind of feel this out. Last one, I go out on the pinky side edge, back on the big toe edge. Good, now let's reverse that. Knock the knee into the other, reach it out, and then slide the pinky toe to come in and up. That's it, so you want that knee nice and open as you pull the leg back into place. Okay, two more times. Check in that your ribs and your hips are staying nice and quiet. Whew, very nice. All right, you guys. Now let's challenge ourselves a little bit by reaching our arms up to the ceiling. If that gets to be too much, replace them back down. Take a breath in, and I want you to just float one leg up to tabletop and then roll through that foot to come down. Yes, so again, working the abdominals, working the hips, but now we're also starting to wake up the feet a little bit. Yes, so try to articulate through them. Toe ball heel on the way down, heel ball toe on the way up. That's it, and keeping that gentle space between your low back and the mat. Now, if you wanna speed this up to challenge your stability, you absolutely can, or you can keep it slow to really work that control element, okay? Now, pause with one leg up in tabletop, and we're just gonna gently stir our thigh in some small circles, okay? Now, this is harder than it looks, so if you're struggling, place the hands back onto the mat. Ooh, so now the foot that's down, that leg should not be moving to the best of our abilities. So really plant the foot heavy and then reverse and go the other way. Yes, so we keep everything else still to allow all the movement to come from that hip joint. Good, and my shin is staying pretty level with the floor. So my knee goes closer and then further from me. So good, all right, let's do that on the other foot. So I lift the leg up and then start to stir. It's almost like your hip socket is like a pot on the stove and then your femur is the spoon, just stirring all around, right? So we don't want the pot to move around on the stove. We keep the pot still and let the spoon do the stirring. Whew, that's a lot harder than it looks. Good, now go the other way. Come back to taking those nice deep breaths. Whew, so good, you guys. All right, now place the feet down. We're gonna try this by advancing it to do with straight legs, okay? So reach your legs out long. Again, arms reaching. You could even reach them behind you to make this more challenging. Now reach one leg up towards the sky. If that's uncomfortable, soften the knee a little bit. Now we're gonna do big circles instead of small ones. That's the other difference. So I'm gonna let my leg fall across my midline, circle it out and around to the side, to come up. Good. Now you draw the biggest circles that you can while keeping your torso as still as possible. So find that balance of big circle, but stable through the body. Good. Really push down into that long leg on the floor. Now go the other way. That's it. And just breathe naturally, whatever feels good. Just try to get a big full inhale and exhale. And think about externally and internally rotating at the hip as we draw this circle. Whew, good, let's do the other side. That's a lot more work for the hip flexor, this one. All right, pick where you'd like your arms, and then we go fall across the body first, and then around and up. Good, circle and lift. So we're just letting gravity, oh, kind of press that femur gently down as we draw these nice big circles, good. Last one, now let's reverse and go the other way. It's really hard to keep the opposite shoulder down, especially with the arms lifted. Whew. Last two, push down with that forward leg. Whew, so good, all right, set the leg down. 
All right, you guys, last little stretch here. Take your arms out to the side. You're gonna pick one knee up, kind of rest your toes next to your kneecap, and we're just gonna take a gentle twist. You're gonna roll that hip off the mat. If your knee can touch the floor, great. And then use your abdominals to come back. Whew. Do that again, let the knee fall. If you wanna increase the stretch, you can look over the opposite shoulder. Whew. Do that two more times. Lead with the knee, feel that nice rotation. And then come back, good, last one. Let it fall across, so good. Now to finish, you're gonna cross your foot over top of your thigh and just let your knee hang open however far it wants to go. <sighs> yeah, try to relax any gripping muscles, just let gravity pull it the rest of the way. Whew. All right, you guys, let's do that on the other leg. So switch toes to the inside of the knee and then we roll it across. If you can get it to the floor, great. Maybe look over the back hand and then return. Good, try to leave that back shoulder down as much as you can. You might feel a nice stretch across the chest. Whew. Two more times, reach across, look. So good, you guys, one last time. Try to have your last stretch be the deepest one. Good, now just cross that foot over the thigh, let the knee open and fall away from you. Good, and then really trying to let these muscles ungrip and relax, let gravity do the work. So good. All right, last little stretch here. I just want you to hug your knees into your chest, curl up into a ball, bring your nose up towards your knees. Ooh, good, and then you're just gonna fall away and reach your arms and legs as far from each other as you can. Take a big breath in. Good, now do that again. Bring your knees in, curl up, and try to squeeze tight like you're trying to make yourself as small as possible and then reach away and make yourself as long as possible. Whew. Do that one more time. You can bring your legs up one at a time if that's helpful. Good, and then down one at a time to reach away. Good, take one last big breath in while we've got all this space. Good, now bend your knees, plant your feet, roll yourself over to one side, slowly kind of trickle your spine back up. Whew. Bring your head up last, very nice. All right, you guys, now flip over, get onto your hands and knees, and we're just gonna do one last little finishing move. So bring your knees off the floor, walk your hands back towards your feet, and just hang over your legs. Knees can be as soft as they need to be. Ah, take a few breaths here. See if you can gently let your torso fall even closer to your thighs. Good, now while you're hanging here, just gently let your head start swinging like you're saying yes. And then gently say no. Feel a little traction going on. Good, and then relax the head, soften the knees even more, and roll up to come up to standing. Whew. All right, you guys, I hope that you enjoyed that morning mat pilates workout i hope you feel nice and energized and ready to start your day now uh, if you liked it please give it a thumbs up uh, leave me a comment down below if you have any feedback or requests for future videos uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and please share this video with a friend and i'll see you next time bye